Let's do the directed practice on the distribution of microstates. These distributions are important because they help us to understand the equilibrium state of a system. The most likely distribution corresponds to the equilibrium distribution. Other distributions correspond to fluctuations away from equilibrium, even at constant energy. So let's chart the allowed distributions for four distinguishable particles at a total energy of three epsilon and an energy level structure just like the one in the book starting at zero and increasing in unit steps. We're going to calculate the total number of uh, configurations as well as T max, which can class of, of microstates has the highest occupation. So the total number of particles, well, that's just equal to four, the summation of all the individual uh, populations of states J. The total energy, that's set at 3 epsilon, it's the summation over the product population times the energy of each one of those states. And that total energy is going to be held constant. Now let's draw the energy level diagram to see how these particles are distributed across these states. We can distribute the energy in three different ways. That is, there are three classes of microstates that for these distributions. In class one, we give three particles the same energy, one epsilon, and put one in the ground state at an energy of zero. In class two, we excite one particle to two epsilon but we have to demote another particle to zero in order to conserve energy for the total system. Finally, in class three, we excite one particle to three epsilon and all others are in the ground state at zero. However, since these particles are distinguishable, there are a number of ways to distribute particles A, B, C, and D. We have to find all the permutations that correspond to these three diagrams. And here they are. Class 1, class 2, and class 3. Counting all these permutations, there are four ways to construct class 1, 12 ways to construct class 2, and four ways to construct class 3. The total number of states is 20, the sum of those three numbers, and T max is 12 for class 2, which identifies it as the equilibrium configuration of the system. However, there are significant statistical fluctuations in the distribution of microstates. Because of these fluctuations, the system is only in the most probable class of microstates 60% of the time. There is a 1 in 5 chance of finding the system in class 1 ensemble, but there is a 40% chance to find the system not in the most probable class of microstates. As the number of particles in the system grows, the statistical preponderance of the most probable class increases rapidly, and the fraction of time spent in the equilibrium configuration grows correspondingly.